Here's a problem. We were given 27 weights which weigh, respectively, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, all the way up to 27 squared. We have to group these 27 weights into three sets of equal weight. So in these videos, I'm always going to give a chance for you to press pause and give you that reminder. So try it yourself. Try to find ways to group these into uh, three sets of equal weight. Hopefully you tried a few ideas. Maybe you even got it. But here's one solution. Um, we're, the basic strategy is we're going to try to simplify the problem by looking at only nine weights in a row rather than 27 weights. Maybe we'll find a way to group those nine weights into three equal sets, um, but maybe we'll also find some useful patterns that'll help out. So we're going to lower um, the complexity of the problem. So if you have nine weights, let the first weight be called n squared, and the rest are going to be n plus 1 squared, n plus 2 squared, and so on, until we have n plus uh, 8 squared. So that's going to give us a total of um, nine different weights, and this is what they look like when they're expanded out. In other words, when we actually square the binomials that result. And if we want to split these up into three equal groups, then um, we have to make sure that the n uh, variable, the n terms, uh, those add up to all the same number. So let's look at all the n terms. That's 0n, 2n, 4n, 6n, 8n, 10n, 12n, 14n, and 16n. Um, they all add up to 72. So it makes sense uh, for us to group them such that the n terms of each group add up to 72 divided by 3, which is 24. And so let's look at how to do that. So um, we're using trial and error. We can do it. And it actually turns out that there's only one way to actually do this and to group them effectively. So we have green group, uh, red group, and blue group. I know it's more like pink, but let's call it red group. So look at each group. Each group has n terms that uh, the the n terms that add up to 24. So eight, 0 plus 8 plus 16 is 24 for the green group. 2 plus 10 plus 12 is 24 for the red group. And 4 plus 6 plus 14 is 24 for the blue group. All right, so are they all equal? Well, it turns out no, because the constant terms differ when we add those up. Um, the red group has constant terms adding up to 62. And same thing with the blue group. But the green group has a, a constant terms adding up to 80. So we have two groups that are the same size. The red group is the same as the blue group, but the green group is 18 bigger, which might seem to be a problem because uh, we will hope to find a way to group all three of these uh, three groups that are exactly alike. Turns out that's not possible. But maybe when we revisit our original problem, putting 27 weights in a row, we could uh, use this fact. And in fact, um, the problem is salvageable. Let's use our same strategy, but we have two sets of n. So n starting at 1, n starting at 10, and n starting at 19. And we have our same patterns of, uh, of weights here. Okay, So we have the n equals 1 group, the n equals 10 group, and the n equals 19 group. And we have all the weights uh, from 1 to 27. And as long as we pick one color from each group, then and as long as we also make sure to include the green group um, only once in each uh, grouping, then we're able to find a solution. So this is the method in which you can generate a solution. Take a color from each section, but make sure that green is only used once. It doesn't matter if you repeat for blue and red because they're the same, um, but make sure that green is only used once in each section. Therefore, th that green is bigger really won't make a difference because each uh, group that we make is going to be bigger by 18. So one solution is to take the blues from the first section. So we have 3, 4, and 8. The, uh, or 3, um, 4, and 8. That's like the number of the weights. It's actually 3 squared, 4 squared, and 8 squared. Um, 10 squared, 14 squared, and 18 squared. And then 20 squared, 24 squared, 25 squared. Or if the numbers just refer to the order. But if you take those... Um, it's going to be equal to the next two solutions, 2, 6, 7, 12, 13, 17, 19, 23, 27. In other words, red, blue, and then green from the final section. And then green in the first section, 1, 5, 9, 11, 15, 16, and 21, 22, 26. So as long as we take one color from each of these groups, n equals 1, n equals 10, n equals 19, then the, that green is bigger, cancels out, and we're left with a solution. So there's more than one solution to this problem as long as we don't disobey our rules in picking the colors from each section. Um, if you have another solution to this, then maybe you should post it as a video response. 
um, because these could be solved in multiple ways sometimes. Um, but I think that this color coding method um, is, is a pretty good one. Okay, thank you.